In this video, I've put together some photos of Renton. I shoot video with an aged iPad, and that can't get to some of the locations that a camera can reach. Let's start at the north end of the layout, where the track curves round from the fiddle yard, emerging from a tunnel and immediately passing under a road bridge. An ancient taxi crosses the bridge, and the first buildings we see form a small farmstead. A couple of farmhands are having a chat by a gate, while the farmer chats to his horse in the yard. Meanwhile, his wife watches the kids working in the front garden. The road heads south with a variety of buildings along the way. Like all the non-railway buildings, the inspiration for these can be found in the Essex village of Finchingfield, though they are arranged differently. These cottages are a little way from the centre of the real village, but they do have family associations, as do these. The backs of those houses face the front of the layout, and I enjoyed making these very visible gardens, giving each one a different look. Much of the north end of the layout can be seen in this aerial shot. All the buildings along the back of the layout have gardens which are much harder to see and to photograph but I did model them in some detail. The camera was mounted on the back scene to get these shots. Back down at a more realistic level, and a lone cyclist freewheels down the hill. A couple of shops and a post office look onto the small village green with the war memorial. That old taxi is on another trip and heading towards the station. In the background is the Fox Inn. And here's the view down the road looking to the north. Looking the other way we see at the top right the two railway cottages in the station approach road. And here's the station itself, which, like the cottages, is based on 1865 Great Eastern Railway designs. A couple of passengers may be waiting for that taxi to come back. Well, a bus has arrived, maybe they'll use that. The approach road also gives access to a small goods yard. and some trains to finish with, starting with this low-level shot of a jubilee just entering the station. Some time travel brings Flying Scotsman through the station to the admiration of some young train spotters. But they must have missed the return journey. And they didn't get to see Bitten either. Maybe they were at school that day. A BR3MT with a suburban service passes the goods shed. And it's followed by its big brother, a 4MT, seen with two different trains. An even bigger brother next. And larger still, an ex-war department 280 heading north. The camera was sitting on the road bridge for this shot, one of the trickier locations for photography. And the ex-war department loco again, passing a J39. A Midland 4F takes its turn with the goods. And another Midland region intruder, an Ivert 2MT. 
Moving away from the station, we see the signal box and some of the goods yard. And further back again, the City of London passes and much of the goods yard comes into view. But perhaps that's a scene for another video.